Now there are three different ways of entering a holding pattern, direct, parallel, and teardrop, and we're going to talk about each of them in detail. These entries are referred to as FAA recommended, which might lead some folks to think that they're optional. Well, the Airman Certification Standards, the ACS, which are the standards for your knowledge and practical test, require that you know the recommended entries and use an entry that ensures you remain within the holding pattern airspace. The FAA has determined that these three types of entries will keep you within the holding pattern airspace. If a pilot chooses some other entry, they need to be able to prove they have stayed in the holding pattern airspace. So it's a good idea to treat these recommended entries as a very strong recommendation. Kind of like when your lawyer recommends, I suggest you stop talking. The FAA divides the airspace around a holding fix into three sectors. The type of entry you make is based on which of these sectors you fly through as you reach the holding fix. When you're trying to figure out which holding pattern entry to make, the easiest thing to do is first divide the holding pattern into the three sectors for the three different types of entries. So let's say that you've been given holding at the ABC VOR. The controller clears you to hold east of ABC on the 090 radial. Expect further clearance at 2300. You may find it very helpful to draw that holding pattern out. During your knowledge test, use your scratch paper because you cannot mark the testing supplement itself. Now at this point, it's easier to start thinking in terms of the courses that would be flown to the holding fix. You've been told to hold on the ABC 090 radial, but your inbound course on that radial while holding will be the reciprocal of the radial 270 degrees. So now you'll divide the holding pattern into the three entry sectors by grabbing a pencil. Take your pencil and put it down on the radial that forms that inbound leg. Put the point of your pencil on the fix and pretend like it's hinged there and the pencil can swing. Now you're going to swing the tail of your pencil into the holding pattern airspace. The holding pattern is right of the line, so we're going to swing the tail of the pencil to the right. Now I can hear you asking, how far does the tail of the pencils go? Well, you will move the tail 70 degrees into the holding pattern airspace and draw a line there. Our inbound leg course is 270 degrees, so moving the tail of the pencil 70 degrees into the holding pattern gives us a line with a course that is 70 degrees to the left of our inbound leg. Sometimes the gears in my head start to grind, but I re just remind myself that it's really fairly easy. Think left is less. So for a heading 70 degrees to the left of 270, we subtract 70, which gives us 200 degrees. Next, take that pencil and slide it out through the other side of the fix. The reciprocal of 200 degrees is 020 degrees, so draw an extension of your line through the holding fix and label it with the uh, course, the heading to the fix of 020 degrees. And what we have done is use our pencil to create a diagonal dividing line through that holding pattern. On the side of that diagonal line where the inbound leg and most of the holding pattern is, that's going to be the area for a direct entry. The other side of that diagonal line we split into two parts by extending this inbound leg on out through the other side of the fix. The reciprocal of 270 degrees is 0, 09 or 0 degrees. And now we have a medium sized area and a tiny area on the other side. The medium sized area is the area for a parallel entry and the tiny area is the area for a teardrop entry. Think 
tears are tiny to help you remember that the smallest area is the area for the teardrop entry. So from a heading of zero to zero degrees to the fix, clockwise around to zero nine zero degrees to the fix is a tiny area for a teardrop entry for this holding pattern. From a heading of zero nine zero degrees to the fix, clockwise around to 200 degrees to the fix is the area for a parallel entry. Let's talk about flying the direct entry first. The direct entry is this entire half circle area where the inbound leg and most of the holding pattern is located. Let's assume that you're coming in from this direct area. And let's take a look at what the path of your aircraft would be to make a direct entry. You fly to the fix, make a right turn to the outbound leg heading, fly outbound for one minute, then turn right and join the inbound leg. It's called a direct entry because after you reach the holding fix, you turn directly to the outbound heading. Piece of cake, no problem to it at all. But now let's assume that you're proceeding to the ABC VOR from this medium-sized area for a parallel entry. Coming in from the medium-sized parallel entry area, you fly to the fix, then fly outbound on the outbound leg heading, zero, 09 or zero in this case, parallel to the outbound leg for one minute then make a left turn all the way around to a heading to intercept the inbound leg, fly back to the holding fix, and then continue flying the holding pattern. With a parallel entry, you cross the fix, then fly outbound parallel to that inbound leg. Now the third entry is a teardrop entry. Teardrops are tiny and the teardrop entry starts from this tiny area. You fly to the fix, then fly outbound at a 30 degree angle from the inbound leg. Then you come around to the right, intercept the inbound leg, and come back to the fix. And the track that you've flown on that teardrop entry looks like this. Coming in from here, you cross the fix, you go outbound, always at a 30 degree angle to the inbound leg, make a right hand turn, come around to intercept the inbound leg, and come back to the holding fix. It's called the teardrop entry because that's the shape your flight path makes after you cross the holding fix. So the names of the three holding pattern entries describe your flight path after passing over the holding fix. Take a look now at this in route chart. On the right side of the chart, 20 miles west of the Lake Charles Vortac, is the strut intersection on Victor 306. Let's say that you're at strut headed eastbound on Victor 306, and the controller tells you to hold west of the Lake Charles 10 DME fix on Victor 306 standard turns. Now, what direction of turns are standard turns? That's right, right-hand turns. Your holding pattern is going to look like a little racetrack shape, something like this. Now, notice before we actually draw this out that the airway course going westbound out of Lake Charles is 265, and the reciprocal of that will be what your course is coming inbound, which would be 085. Assume that you've got no wind and that your heading's the same as your inbound course on the airway. You need to figure out what type of entry you're going to make in that holding pattern. So you want to draw the information you've been given. You've been issued an unpublished holding pattern. It's not drawn on the chart, so it is helpful to draw it. So here's the Lake Charles Vortac. The 10 DME fix is going to be about here, and here's Victor 306 on the 265 degree radial. The first thing you always want to do is divide up that holding pattern into the three different types of entries, the direct, the parallel, and the teardrop. Then 
figure out what type of entry you'll make based on which of the three sectors you'll fly through as you approach the holding fix. So the first thing you want to do is put your pencil down on the radial that forms that inbound leg. Draw a line on the 265 radial coming out to the west of that 10 DME fix and label it with the inbound course of 085 degrees. Now you want to pretend that the point of the pencil is stuck right on the holding fix, the 10 DME fix, and you're going to move the tail of the pencil how many degrees? You got it 70 degrees into the holding pattern airspace and then draw a line there. Now label that line with the heading to the holding fix. 085 minus 70 gives you 015 degrees. So 085 minus 70 because left is less and a heading 70 degrees left of 085 is found by subtracting 70 for an inbound heading of 015 degrees. Next, you extend the line out through the other side of the fix. The reciprocal of 015 is going to be 195, so add that label to your line. So what we've got now is a diagonal line going through our fix at a 70 degree angle to our inbound leg. What we do next is we take the course that forms our inbound leg, 085, and we draw it out through the other side of the fix. We labeled the inbound uh, course on the inbound leg of the holding pattern, the course to the holding fix, uh, 085. So the course on the other side, the reciprocal is to 65 degrees. So what we've done here is divide that holding pattern up into the three holding pattern entry areas. We've got a great big half circle here all of that area where the majority of the holding pattern is and where the inbound leg is located, and that's the area for a direct entry. The medium-sized area is always for a parallel entry, and the tiny little area, the T's go together, is for a teardrop entry. If you're headed eastbound on the airway, the aircraft's going to be coming in like this, and what type of entry are you going to make? You're going to make a direct entry, because all you have to do when you get to the 10 DME fix is make a right turn, and you're perfectly established going around that holding pattern. Super easy!